Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Oaksfu. And as you can see, another dark figure has joined our party. As we have defeated the tiger. I had to think for a second. Couldn't remember who we just fought. And this next guy will not be quite as fun. But he is... Well, I, I was going to say, he is different, but they're all different in their own way, so that's not really saying much. Let's just take a hint from the big, booming voice. Thy next foe is... Paradise floats upon the lake, a silent being yields thunder. Yep, this guy is bringing back the light blasts that we love so much that take away quarter of our health. This guy's a bit easier to dodge, though, than that giant spider crab guy, so it shouldn't be as big a deal. And... Aha! It actually kept my X settings this time. That's good. Oh, and aggro's right here. So we can, we can get going right away. Now this guy, if I remember correctly, is a little bit out of the way. Kind of like the... Oh. Don't get stuck right there. Don't get stuck right there. We just started. It's not time for failing yet. Just like the giant crab guy was a little bit out of the way, this guy is a little bit out of the way, too. So. But not quite as out of the way as the giant sandworm guy was. So. We'll just get a ride and... And I believe there should be another bridge over here. Yep right there. So this is the way we're going to want to go because he's going to be on the eastern side of the map. I'm 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 the map. Oh, I don't think I've shown you guys the map yet. Well, I've shown it to you when I pause and come back, but as you can see, the map is going to show us well, it's going to show us a little path of where we've gone just so we can backtrack. But as you can see, there are now faces dotting the map. Those are the positions of the Colossi. And like I said, you can go back and fight them again, so it comes in handy if you don't want to eat, because you can't really use the... Well, of course you can't really use the sword to go find them. Now where you see the clouds as well, that's where we haven't explored yet, so... That's usually where the next few Colossi are going to be. Because it's pretty hard to run... <laughs> it's pretty hard to miss some of these guys. We'll just keep going this way for now, because as you can see right up here, it looks to be a structure in the distance. That is where the next Colossi is. So we're just gonna... Alright, there that's the bridge we want to take over there. And as you can see, we're gonna be passing by the little lake. Well, we just faced the, past, faced the past, last Colossi. Somewhere around here. Oh no, I guess he's further up. Oh no, it's right there. Yeah. 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 Is it? Oh, guess not. I guess I'm lying. Must be farther up. Oh well. Doesn't really matter anyway. And we see up before us another forest. And this one's pretty straightforward, so... Just ride through it, follow the path. Actually, let's see if we can find some more... if we can find any more fruit or anything. Usually in the forest, I find that you can't really find fruit, so... I believe we have to go this way, actually, to get out of this forest, to get where we need to be going. It's kind of... a backtrack, but... as you can see, there's no bridge here, so we didn't go completely backwards. We're actually gonna be going this way. Oh! Interesting thing. I finally figured out how to actually control the riding in this game. For some reason, I thought it was, like, the running in Grand Theft Auto or something. You had to keep pressing X to keep going. But apparently, as you can see with the sandworm, I didn't completely fail. And I guess you don't have to press X to actually go forward. So now what we're going to want to do here is just climb up and go around. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to get up here, actually. It's not that difficult. The only problem is that we're going to be swimming for a few minutes because, again, if I don't complain about it enough, 
uh, he swims, the prince swims extremely slowly. So I'm actually going to switch out from the sword, because I can't tell if there's actually a difference, but he seems to swim a little bit more quickly with both his hands out, and a little bit more quickly if we swim underwater, too. So, we this is, what, the 12th Colossi? So after this guy, we're only going to have four guys left. And that is when this is going to become a completely blind Let's Play. Because I have not fought those four. I've seen them fought. I've seen, I think, the last one fought by my friend. But... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We'll see how we'll see how that goes. But I don't know. I'm interested. I, I'm excited because after this let's play, I've got I've got one planned. That is going to be completely blind, or at least, well, it's it's going to be mostly completely blind because it's one of those games where I've only played like 20 minutes in the first level. And some of you might be surprised when you find out that the, about the about how little I've played this game. Because it's one of those games where you think, oh, everybody's played it. Well, I've got two of those games. I've got one game that I keep... I've played before, but I'm just horrible at. Which I plan on doing a Let's Play. Uh, possibly with my girlfriend. Over the summer. And she'll probably hear this and be like, what are you planning? <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> and then this one, this game that I'm talking about starting, that'll be fun too. But as you can see, this is our next colossi, a giant guy pretending he's an island, kind of like the turtle in Majora's Mask. All right. So as you can see, he's gonna hit us with these thunder, thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening me. I think I already did that song now, so. <laughs> Uh, what's the... What's the song by ACDC? Oh gosh, I can't even... I can't think of songs when, I, when I'm actually doing the Let's Plays. It's horrible. Kazam! Thunderstruck! Or whatnot. Alright, so basically, as you can see, he's got the two horns, which are gonna fire lightning, at, lightning bolts at us every so often. So you're gonna wanna just sneak behind here and wait... And I believe he's going to peer his head down. Maybe not. I can't remember. It's something to do with these rocks on his head. They're kind of like teeth. Basically what you got to do is get his attention by smashing those. And you got to swim around to his backside or whatnot. And I can't remember if that's all you have to do or not. Because I seem to have a lot of problems getting this guy to actually turn around. Because you, you move so, so slowly. But he's giving us, he's not giving us that hard of a trouble, that big of trouble this time, it seems. So, like I said, use the bow, shoot him right there, and hopefully he can swim around. Hopefully he won't be a bitch to you. If, if he does, just keep trying. You can hide behind those things, and he can't get you. So, it, this guy's, this guy's a really low-key boss. He can't really actively attack you or anything. Like, he can go around the platforms, but... There's really nothing to be worried about with this guy. You're mostly going to be just climbing on top of him. But, as you can see, if we get out our trusty sword, he has no weak points up here. Now that's going to be a problem. So, what you can see here is this kind of looks like a row of teeth up here. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be a dentist. We're going to be Steve Martin, or not... Yes, yeah, Steve Martin. <laughs> I'm always I'm really bad with my actors. We're just gonna whack on his teeth, cause him some pain. Basically, we get to ri we get to ride him. We get to control him like a horse. Basically, these are our stirrups. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! And each tooth makes him go a different direction, left, right, and forward. And what you want to do is get him to come over to these platforms. So you can jump off onto him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. 
<laughs> but basically, you want to miss. <laughs> Wait, not you don't want to miss. What you want to do, what we ultimately want to do is we want to get up on those platforms. And if I have to, I'll do some cutting so that we can get up on those platforms. But I'm not one of the cutting crowd. I don't like cutting. I like keeping keeping as much of the gameplay in as possible. Just because it's a lot more fun that way. It's the other thing. If you don't hide in time, you're going to take a lot of his attack. And he can be painful. He can be very painful. <laughs> <laughs> 